Hi parents, I'm Miss Siler, and if you're watching this video, that means that your child has me as their either anatomy physiology teacher, chemistry teacher, or living earth teacher this year. A little bit of background information about me. I graduated from San Diego State University with a bachelor's in biology. After that, I went and got my master's degree at Grand Canyon University in chemistry with an emphasis in education. I have been teaching currently at this school for five years now. Before that, I was at Helix Charter High School. So far, I have taught Living Earth, Chemistry, Anatomy, Physiology, and AP Chemistry here at this school. Uh, I, my interests are reading, I like sci-fi, I like science naturally, um, and I really like memes as your child probably already knows given that I wear a science t-shirt pretty much every day. Um, the best way to contact me if you have questions, comments, concerns that you need to talk to me about or whatever is through email. My email is csiler at ramonausd.net. That's C-S-E-I-L-E-R at ramonausd.net. I do have a classroom phone, but unfortunately it doesn't ring during the school day. So if you were hoping to get a hold of me that way, only phones within the school can actually call my school phone during the school day. Otherwise, if you're calling from an outside phone, as you most likely would be doing, it will just leave a message on my phone. And so email is usually the best way to get into contact with me. I do check my email periodically throughout the day, and I will make sure to respond to any email inquiry you might have within 24 hours, generally. Um, if you do need my classroom phone, the phone number is 760-787-4169. Just to give a quick summary of what each class is like, if your child is in my Living Earth class, uh, that class covers pretty much everything you could think of that would be in a biology class, but we do mix in a bit of earth science along the way. So right now we're doing cell biology. We're talking about prokaryotic organisms versus eukaryotic organisms. From there, we'll talk about cell division, protein synthesis, some of those other things and that of that nature. And we'll move on to genetics and evolution. From there, we'll do a little bit of ecology. So animal behavior will be roped in there and we'll talk about earth systems and earth processes more towards spring semester. If you're in my chemistry class, we are actually just starting with learning the math of chemistry. So last class, we talked about scientific notation. We'll move on to significant figures and unit conversions. And then first semester is really a lot of background information on how to read the periodic table, understanding what an atom is. Um, then we'll learn how to read uh, not only read the periodic table, but be able to name compounds and then put those compounds together into chemical reactions, balance those, and then we will do the math associated with those chemical reactions, being able to predict how much product will form given how much reactant was used through stoichiometry and limiting reactants. And then spring semester, we start roping in some of the, in my opinion, more interesting topics, so thermochemistry, equilibrium, uh, acid-base chemistry, and a bunch of those. If you're in my anatomy class, currently we are learning about the structure and function of individual cell organelles. And then we will move on from the unit that's the language of anatomy and cells structure and function onto the skeletal system, the muscular system, and that should take us through fall semester. In spring semester, we're going to talk about the cardiovascular system, uh, the immune system, respiratory system, special senses, the nervous system, and then if we get there at the very end, we'll talk about the reproductive system as well. Tips for success in any of my classes, be here, be nice to yourself and others, be on time, do your work in a timely manner, and be organized. Those tips for success can apply to pretty much any of my classes. Um, a very specific tip for success for chemistry is please ask for help. Chemistry is hard sometimes, especially if you're somebody that doesn't like math. So if you need help in chemistry, please, please ask for it. That's what my ELT is for. And yes, you can do it. Um, just don't get in your own way because all the time I see students, they give up immediately because they're like, this is chemistry. I've heard it's really hard. And they just, they give up before they realize that yes, they can do it. And so I spend the year trying to convince them that they can do it. And at some point they realize that it is in fact possible for them. 
For anatomy, my specific tip for success is really, honestly, you have to put in the work. Because unlike chemistry, where it's an application-based class, anatomy is more do you know what it is and do you know where it is and do you know how it works? So it's a lot of memorization, which takes effort. Pretty much nobody has an eidetic memory, a photographic memory, and if you do, you are very lucky. So you gotta put in the work to memorize all of that stuff. And I will give you the structures to do so, but I can only show you the door. You are the one that has to walk through that door. All right, um, so if you have any questions, once again, reach out to me, preferably by email, but you can also use my classroom phone. Um, have a great back to school night, virtual or not, and I will see your children tomorrow.